Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this uh, dirt bin with this pattern on it. I'm taking two approaches. One will be a, a loft approach, the other will be a revolve approach. So follow along, see how you go and watch to the end. So uh, we're going to have a look at two different ways to make this bin. Uh, first one's going to be a loft method. The second one we will um, we will do a revolve. So for the loft, I'm just going to create a sketch on the top plane and a circle. So the center diamond circle from the origin, and we'll do that to 150 millimeters. And I'm happy with that sketch. Now I'll construct a new plane. Construct offset plane. We'll offset from our top plane. And let's make that 200. Okay, so now we're going to be drawing a second circle on this top plane. So I'll go create sketch, top plane. Again, center time the circle. We'll find the origin, drag it out. Uh, we'll make that 200. And finish sketch. So now we've got these two circles. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a loft between the two of them. So create loft. <coughs> this will just allow us to create a new body here. So we could play with these. Um, that will adjust the, the shape of it according to the direction, but I want it to be connected directly um, just like that. So I'll select OK. So now we've got what looks like a cork or something. We're going to shell this. So select shell. I'm going to select two millimeters. So now that's got a two millimeter thick shell. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to do this little lip. What I want to do is create a sketch on this front plane and we can see we've got our bin there. I'm going to go over here and go slice so I can see this line where it's sliced because I'm going to put my little circle for my lip on there. I want to project these points so P for project That should be good. And then I'll create a segment diameter circle. So this is on that point. I actually want this to be four millimeters, not 4.03. So from that point, it will should be flush with the inside. Now all we do is we select revolve. I'll select that circle and the axis will be the circumference of the bin, the, the dirt bin. Join, OK. Now we've got a nice little lip that goes around the bin. <coughs> so that's one way to do it. I'm going to show you the other way and then we'll get into making the patterns on it. So I'm just going to go in my history over here, go right back, right click, delete all features. So now we're going to do this from the beginning. This time I'm going to start on the front plane. So create sketch on the front plane. I had that bottom circle at 150, so you can either go 75 or 150 over 2. And then I had another line that was 200. I'm just going to make this a construction line. That was 200 up. And then, so half of that 200. And then we'll just join them here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this line and that line at 2 millimeters. 
So now when I extrude this or when I revolve it, it will give me what I want. But I don't want this line there. So I'll join this line and then trim these two. So you can see I've got a closed profile there and I've got this upright line that I can use as a revolve axis. So I could also, just while I'm here, select that center diameter to circle, and I want it for finish sketch. Now if I go into revolve, I'll select the profiles I want to revolve. Uh, it's not letting me select that, it's not a closed profile. I'll go back into the sketch, I didn't close it off here. You can see when it's closed off it highlights it in the, or shades it that light blue. So now I should be able to revolve it, let's try again. Okay, so it's got that selected, let's see if it's selected the little circle. Now I have to select that separately. And the axis will be our construction line. So there's two ways of getting the exact same shape. What we're going to have a look at now is doing a pattern on it. So I want a little square block pattern. I'm going to create a new plane, construct offset plane from the front plane, or from the left plane, sorry. And I want it to be just past that line there, because I'm going to cut them into the, into the the dirt bin from the side. So I know at 100 it'll be flush with the top, so just pass there. Now we're going to create a sketch on this plane. Create sketch on this new plane we've created. I want to project here. It doesn't have to be centered, but I'm going to just draw a central construction line up there. Um, this will also give me a direction to do my pattern on just now. So I'm going to create a rectangle. I'll choose a center point rectangle. So I'll center it on this line and deselect construction. So now we just decide how big we want it. So 12 by 12. I'm happy with that. And then the distance from the bottom, I'll make that 25. Try that again. Dimension 25. Okay, so there's one block. Now we're going to create rectangular pattern. I'll select not that. I'll select the size I want to pattern, the direction I want to pattern it in, and then we'll select how many times we want it to occur. So let's drag it all the way up. So a bit more than five. I'm happy with seven. So we can finish sketch there. So now we've got to this sketch on the outside there. I'm going to go extrude. We'll now select each of these. And we're going to extrude them right through to the center. So when they're in the center, we'll just click OK. Now we'll see we've got these holes on the bin. But I want to pattern that. So we got create. Um, where's pattern? There we go. Circular pattern. I'm going to change this from bodies to a feature. We'll go in our tree over here our timeline, select that feature and the axis will be any one of these round objects that <coughs> are highlighted. Now I want quite a few of these so I'll show you and then when I click it's gonna probably freeze my computer for a couple of seconds I'll just skip that bit in the editing but if you're doing a lot of little holes like this or repeating pattern and you've got a your computer isn't 
quite high performance you'll have a couple of seconds of lag so okay oh no problem at all so there's my dirt bin it's got the little holes in it got the pattern like I wanted and we can just add a an appearance to that so I'll right click on it appearance and I'll go with something blue I like blue so this anodized aluminium is quite cool let me download it there you just drag it over the body and it will apply it there it's applied it to the face so now it should be the whole body So that's what we're looking for. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Leave a comment. Uh, if you need any help with any of your work, you can get in touch with me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Until next time, bye.